Kimberly and I'm here with a different type of video but this is a story time this actually just happened to me and I'm planning on making a lot of videos about Mexico so I wanted to go ahead and make this video now to tell everybody about what happened in case people are watching my videos and want to travel to Mexico I just want to make people aware of what is happening or what happened to me so that way it doesn't happen to you but in no way am I trying to scare you or deter you from coming to Mexico because so far I've had a blast it's a wonderful country and the people here are so friendly and I'm so excited for the videos that I'm going to post. So I'm here right now in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. And this all happened yesterday when me and my boyfriend decided to take a day trip to Cozumel. So we got on a ferry and went to Cozumel early in the morning. When we got there, we were so excited. We actually rented out a motorbike. We had a perfect, idyllic day in Mexico. We were having a blast. We were living our best lives on the scooter. All right. Kimberly's first time driving a scooter. I mean, I'm not the best scooter driver, but <laughs> We were having such a blast and we got a good deal on it. So we drove around the island one time, had a beautiful day, and then we decided we needed to fill up our uh, scooter with gas. So we were told by our rental company that it would cost a few dollars to get gas put into our scooter. And, or we could have gone back to the rental place and they would have done it for us for five dollars um, because there would be a small handling fee. So we decided since we passed by a gas station that we would get it done ourselves. So we got to this gas station and I personally didn't actually see a lot of tourists at the gas station. I saw a lot of locals and so we got to the gas station, we waited for the person to put gas in our scooter because that's how they do it here in Mexico, somebody puts it in. I've also learned before that day that the gas handlers don't make a lot of money. Um, so it might be just the nature of the game. We got there and there's two men that were helping us out. For all the sound if you hear it in this video I'm in Mexico and the cars and the music is just crazy so that's just Mexico for you it's a really loud lively place so there were two men helping us out and I kind of had this feeling just my woman's intuition that they were kind of tag team together they were extremely friendly and I've heard of scams happening before and it's always kind of an obvious, you don't talk to the people that are on the street, blah, blah, blah. But this is a different type of scam that I really didn't see happening at all. They were really friendly, asking me questions about where I was from, if I spoke Spanish, where my boyfriend was from, if we were on a honeymoon. And I just thought maybe they're just being very nice to foreigners, but I also had a very strange feeling about it. We were told that our gas would cost 10 US dollars, which was higher than we suspected, and my boyfriend actually was very skeptical about that price, but I was like, $10, and eh, it's still cheap, not what we expected, but still really cheap. So I wanted to pay for this gas with my card. And they told me that they would go find the card swiper. So the man actually, one of the men actually ran over to get the card swiper and he put my card on top of a little stand by the gas pump. I didn't really think much of it, but the way he handled my card made me feel a little bit weird. 
and he came back with the card swiper and we put it in i think maybe at this point he already had my card information i don't know exactly how he got it but i think at this point he did have it and so he put the card into the swiper and he said the card machine's not working and i thought oh well okay because this is kind of common in mexico it's kind of hard to find an atm that works it's kind of hard to find card swiper sometimes so i didn't really think much about it at the time they continued to be very friendly with me um they even showed me their gasoline dogs the gas station dogs and their name was their names were like trixie and something else so i actually have a special treat for y'all and found footage of me literally petting these dogs and talking to the attendees so enjoy me being fooled and scammed <laughs> <laughs> is she fed well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Canela. Ah, okay. Ah. Él es Arturo también. Gracias. Ah, okay. Thank you, ladies. Muchas gracias. You too. Bye, Trixie. Bye. Yeah. And they were very nice they actually stayed around to conversate and it kind of made me feel a little unsettled I ended up paying them with cash and when I got on the scooter with Max we both had an unsettled feeling about it and I told him I don't know if the gas station attendant was just being a little extra flirtatious or if I got scammed um if they stole something from me and i didn't realize it but i felt okay with that because max was watching the situation happen um so i looked in my backpack and i had everything there i we literally felt so uneased about it that we looked in our backpack to see if they had taken anything from us and we didn't see anything stolen So we got on our scooter, drove to the beach, and had a beautiful afternoon of snorkeling, and um, we turned in our scooter and didn't notice anything unusual at all. Everything was great. We got back to Playa del Carmen, dot, 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 and then just a few hours ago, I checked my bank account and noticed an unusual transaction um, for $53. And I literally just copied and pasted into Google that transaction name and all of these scams came up. And it was by a Pexmex. They got me good. They really did. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. I reached out to the chain um, and I am planning on disputing this transaction with my bank. Hopefully it goes through. I don't really know exactly what's going to happen. They didn't even give us a receipt. I don't have a habit of collecting receipts. They never gave out a receipt for a good reason. And um, yeah, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but I just wanted to let y'all know the story. They got me good, but they're not gonna get me next time. Cause we're still planning on going to Cozumel and you know, I'm not gonna go there next time. So just so y'all know, Pex Mex, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy that video. Make I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you all aren't subscribed to me yet, please consider subscribing to me. I've almost reached a thousand subscribers and I'm going to post a lot more content on Mexico and my travel journeys coming up. So if you're interested in this content, please subscribe, please like the video and let me know. Have you ever been scammed in Mexico or any other countries?
Did they scam me really good like they got me? <laughs> See y'all later. Bye. She's back. We have a little kitty. <laughs>